My first year of college was spent down in Pennsylvania. The college and buildings were old with a lot of history, especially those for the music department. These buildings were on the other side of campus, built in the 1700s, and was once a Revolutionary War hospital where over 500 American soldiers had died. According to multiple articles, it is one of the most haunted universities in the country. The two buildings on the South Campus are the Music Hall and the Women's Dorm, where I lived. Both buildings built of brick and stone with floorboards that creaked. There were once one building connected by an overpass up until the 1950s. Maybe the energy of one is affecting the other. Maybe it's just a lot of strange coincidences and tall tales. But when I look back on the number of weird and unexplainable encounters I experienced, I realized just how strange it all was. I was in the music building often. My friends and I had a number of experiences, often late at night when going to a practice room or walking down a hallway. Once my friend and I were rehearsing in one of the practice rooms and we had stopped for a moment. We heard and saw someone walk by the window on the door. We stepped out to see who else was in the building so we opened the door to check it out. When we looked down the hallway, we saw no one. It was a long hallway, so we would have seen someone walking. We weren't the only ones that this happened to. Many claimed to have seen a nurse walking down the hall, hearing people running above them, however the floor above was off limits. There were several occasions when we would experience cold spots, hot spots, or weird smells. We were told by staff that the third floor was closed off because there was just too much activity up there, and they didn't want anyone getting hurt. This may just be an old tale that they tell us, but one of my friends had gone up there with a teacher to get some old music, and said it was the strangest energy, and he swore he saw an apparition of a soldier up there. However, most of my experiences happened in the dorm right next to the music building. Between me and my friends, we could probably share over a hundred stories that we cannot explain. And these stories started from the first moment we got on campus. The dorm was small, only housing about 50 girls. The first night move-in day, we had a full dorm meeting in what we called the President's Room. This room still had original art furniture and artwork from the 1800s and would be the location of dozens of apparition sightings of an older couple. The meeting was nothing to write about, just the typical welcome to school, here are the rules of the building. They even showed us the diagram of how furniture in the president's room must stay symmetrical. This diagram hung in the center of the wall. Us freshmen thought it was a joke, to scare us, but little did we know it really was a warning. That night, we all went to bed. Nothing seemed abnormal. At 3 a.m. I was awoken by my alarm going off. This was super weird because I didn't set an alarm at all. I didn't even think my clock was even set to the right time. I didn't think much of it. I thought maybe the power had gone out during the night and the alarm clock went off when it came back on. It was a new alarm clock so it could have just gone off. However, when I exited my dorm room to use the restroom, everyone else on my floor was awake as well as all of our alarms, plugged in or not, had gone off at the same time. What made it even crazier is it was not just our floor, but the whole dorm. It took us all a while to calm down as we were all a little bit freaked out, especially when someone went to check the rest of the building and saw that there was a chair out of place in the president's room. You would think this would have been the scariest encounter. It may have but this was just the start. My room, which I shared, was the smallest in the building and is said to be the most haunted. Upperclassmen who had stayed in our room prior would warn us and tell us of weird things that had happened. Again, we didn't think much of it when we first moved in, but over the two semesters I was in that room, 
we experienced a lot of weird events. Dozens of times I would come into the room with all of the items which were on the wall thrown across the room. Not like they had just slid or fell off, but thrown, ripped corners on the poster. The window wasn't open, the heat wasn't on. Was it a draft? I don't know. But it got to the point that we stopped bothering to keep the things on the wall. Just to give a quick layout of the room, it was small and narrow. We shared one closet, which was right next to the main door. When the closet door was open, it would be completely blocking the other door. So you would have to have it closed for us to exit. The closet door was extremely difficult to open. I would have to jiggle the doorknob, put all my weight into it to get it to open. My roommate and boyfriend at the time had the same issue. What made this super weird was on several occasions, we would come into the room with the closet door open. Maybe we didn't close it all the way and it popped open possibly. But again, you couldn't leave the room if it was. One night, we were sitting there watching TV when my roommate looked up and said, what the hell? When I looked to my right, the closet door was opening. Both of us sat there, just staring. Not making a sound as we watched the closet door open, then close, and then the main door open. We both said some choice words and were completely freaked out and didn't sleep well for weeks afterwards. My roommate and I, to this day, have never been more freaked out than that one strange night. Between the strange noises, footsteps, apparitions of a black dog, doors being opened and shut on their own, items being left in the middle of a room, the unexplainable things would just feel a bit normal. Thank you.